silence, uh, silencing of the lambs. Code is broken. If every letter can be silent in one word, therefore it can and must be silenced in all words, as one sees fit or phi t, the creation of love, which is the law of A or law or law, L-A-H, which becomes the note of love, the K-N-O-W dash T-E of love. Pronounces the same way. I'm going to explain to you as well in this essay just how, it's not very long, just how important pro, now, and say is. That's how you create. So I'll go through the alphabet really quickly here. I did this already, but I'll do it again. <clears throat> where every letter is silent. A is silent in each, earth, and ear, many others. I'm just giving, you only need one example to prove your point, okay? B is silent in bomb and lamb. C is silent in uh, where K, S, C, H, F, and P, H are corresponding letters creating the same sounds or silence. D is silent in bridge. E is silent in bride. F is silent in where G and H are silent. Laughter. G is silent in laughter. H is silent in laughter. L is silent, or sorry, I is silent in void, or void, V-O-W-E-D. <laughs> Tricky little things, eh? J is silent in that it mimics G and is an H in Jorge. K is silent in no, or no, without the K. You might call it now. Or new, or new without the K, which is brand new. L is silent in should or would, W-O-O-D, or W-O-L-D. M is silent in mnemonic, and always silent at the beginning of a word with M-N. As a side note there, I forgot to add, uh, only in the Greek, ancient Greek language, is M silent. <laughs> you might know the name of God at this point. Just letting you know. N is silent in damn. Or you can pronounce it dame, entirely up to you. O is silent in kernel. P is silent in phone. Q is silent in all aspects of the K sound. Or Q, C-U-E. R is silent in leve, to lift in French. S is silent in island, isle, or debris. T is silent in debut, ballet in, oh, look at that, castle. Funny how that works. U is silent in blood. V is silent in of, O-F. W is silent in D-O-U-B-L-E, Y-O-U, W, and no. You don't need the W there. It's silent. The O does the work. X is silent in fo pa. Yeah, we've made one or two of those. Y is silent in say. Totally unnecessary. S-A will do the trick with a hard A and a hard S. Say. Z is silent in rendezvous. Inasmuch as every letter can be silenced, therefore, so will the intent be silenced. We have long assumed and presumed the sounds of our words by another's definition and the habits deeply ingrained in us as children. There are no grammatical notes regarding the pronunciation of any letters where we assume what is written versus knowing what is written and our intent is owned by someone else's intent. For me, all definitions must be made clear where no assumption or presumption is tolerated. As a measure of how much programming we are involved in, simply lift a piece of paper with writing on it and see if you can hear the words. So what is the paper really saying? Nothing. It is we who give life to someone else's spell by agreeing that sigils can actually talk. Sheer insanity and easy to see how we can be steered and heard dead where our KTL, cattle, is used against us. And it's our own doing. There are no enemies here. You are the NME, the magnetic electric mind who creates your reality. It's as simple as holding any document up to your ear and really hear what is being said and just who gives life to the spells after all. You are, <clears throat> excuse me, you are spellbound. Just to give you an example, I left a typo in there. And anyone that's reading this say, oh, Kate, you, 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 you put a P in you, Y-O-P-U. So did you not just hear what I said, that all letters are silenced? Silence the fucking P, you'll get it. Tricky bitch, eh? 
Yeah, go ahead. Let's play. I'll play and show you all the tricks that you are being held by. So carrying on here. You are spellbound to the degree that you accept and only accept the literal definitions created with the intents of another as their spell. Remember, spiritual contracts are made and sealed in the mind first. Then the physical effect is displayed. In this regard, one is also a psychopath to how polarized one is in seeing only good or evil versus the singularity of them both existing at the same time where only your perspective changes the interpretation. If you accept a word as only a positive or a negative, then you are a psychopath to that degree. So keep that in mind anytime you call someone or anyone a psychopath because that will be your contrast and the mirror or the mire a ro mirror mirror. Only the most polarized fill jobs in government offices, uniforms and the like, because they are following and obeying things that harm not only others but themselves. These are the five year old mental retards I refer to walking around the playground with flamethrowers and Uzis going off, and they think that's a good thing. Psychopaths of the lowest order. When you understand that you can change the very intent of a word using sound, you'll begin to see your spellbinding and thus your freedom from it. Let me share a few words written solely based on sound and toss the spellings to the wind. What you will hear is far from what is spelled and the literal gibberish I see any single language as being versus the god tongue we all can speak and thus change the intent and the very creation of the world or spiral around you, literally. Take, for example, what you were hearing now. Does it sound any different than what I was just saying before? You likely haven't heard anything remotely contrasting in the forms of the sound, but I assure you, Nothing I have written here, even close to what I'm saying, knows it. Uh, <clears throat> saying now, is it? Sorry about that. See, I hooked myself on it. But you see how freaking bizarre this is. This is why one must play show and tell with me to fully grasp my intentions. Are you starting to get the picture yet? This is why the letter kills and only the word will set you free. Well, what I'm saying is clear enough. One cannot begin to explain the gravity nor the significance of this power. This is where dreams come true or where night, <coughs> sorry, nightmares exist. When I write anything now, it is written as per my definitions, where the intent is kept secure and all other spells are destroyed, removing the original sin. This is the master key of creation versus create shun. I will share a few key phrases that I look for and then build the sentence backwards. There is no place like home. Since the literal world is created with anagogic allegory, it becomes easier to create your reality with this simple understanding that is intricately complicated. The first thing we all have to <coughs> excuse me have to do is realize that this is a game of can I get your goat show and nothing more. All of the emotional strings connected to you are as the strings on Pinocchio. And what was that quest all about? It is about the journey of a puppet or pupa, depending on how you pronounce it. But once you start resounding a word, you begin to see what a resounding success really is. Remember, this is about listening, not reading, since any words on a page are dead, and only your agreeing to speak them as is creates the life within them as per someone else's definitions. It is time for us to redefine our realities according to making God in our own image, after our own likeness, as was so clearly stated but mirrored by organized religions. Here are a couple of key things I listen for. All these prefixes and suffixes mean mind, as per the ancient mystical ways. Ship, mind, M-I-N-E-D. Hood, ment, ment, M-E-A-N-T. Ent, ents, ents, ants, and every instance they appear in sound, regardless of spelling. It is the sound that creates, not the words, and why one must begin to hear things as only sounds, 
and not words, or you get spun back in where I'm trying to spin you out. Anytime I see or say the spellings, hearings of say, S-A-Y, say, S-E, apostrophe, C-E, apostrophe, I use the Latin form of himself, herself, itself, or simply creation. As already shown, every letter can be silenced where you say or see fit, phi T. This is the 180 degree turn spell of fight, F I G H T, into phi T, sacred creation of love. The letters E and A are used as their corresponding sigils of six and nine in the mirror, the yin and the yang. The word or sound of love is the law of truth. When you know how to pronounce it, where L-O can be sounded as law, as in to lob a holy hand grenade at the crucified rabbi, well, it's rabbi with a silent T, where T can be the note of love or the cross of crucifixion, thus the true double cross. The letters V-E is truth from verily, as shown in the open arms of V into nine consciousness. The spelling of nine says it all. N is a letter to show infinite, or nth, and is used as a conjunct shun, meaning it's mine, so nine means my I, 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 my creation. T-I on. I'm going to keep this one short because you have a little playing to do for yourself to unlock your own spellbinding, where I can only show you clues as to how to see it. I'll close with pronouns and show you how critically important pro non si hex shun it is. Pro means for in Latin, and an expert at something. Noun becomes now, n, or now mine. And say becomes say, or s-a-y, which is create ion itself. So that word now means exactly what it intended to mean from source. For my now creation, for now my creation, where the sound of shun is removed, and the god as void io becomes mine, and my intent as I choose it. There is much more, but then the book of life is infinite, and the one I am <coughs> excuse me, and the one I am writing, where I'll leave those only who read from the book of the dead to carry themselves out. Easy peasy, much love. Kati, the spirit of lave, the law of truth.